Hey, everybody. This is Perch. Yeah, it's Perch. It's Perch. Me, Perch. Anyway. Um, all right. We haven't talked about DC in a while. We'll actually talk about them all the time. Uh, somebody is like, why don't you talk more about indie comics? I do. But you're right. You're right. I mean, basically, when I'm answering the viewer questions, you know, it'd be nice. If more of you were like that guy who kept uh, complaining about wanting to get the Hellboy sales analysis. You know, could more of you be like that guy? You all, you, people are like, why don't you ask, why don't you answer more questions about the indies, Perch? Why do you always focus on Marvel and DC, Perch? The big jackass, Perch. Why, why don't you? Go out, Perch D. Perchington. Quit jerking off in front of the camera and uh, having people scam you out of Bitcoin and uh, actually answer, uh, answer indie comics questions. Well, here's a suggestion. Ask them. <laughs> ask the questions. I'll answer them. <laughs> that's, just, that's what I'll do. I don't know. I, I, another complaint, by the way, people are like you're getting a little feisty in the comments, Perch. It's like people, uh, you know, people, you know, take the piss out on you, and then you like you fire back. It's like, uh, yeah, that's how it works. Come on, that's the kind of relationship we have, right? You guys act like a jackass to me, I get to act like a jackass to you. It's all good. That's the that's the friendly relationship we have. So, so it's like, why do you act rude to your fans, Perch? Like, I, they're not my. If, they're, they're shitting on me. I'm gonna. I mean, come on, come on, come on. Anyway, I don't know. All right, here we go. It's a DC question. It says DC Comics. When will Jim Lee stop acting as EIC? Well, I mean, based on the work output, that that was like four years ago. Anyway, sorry. Ah, 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 zing. Anyway, Perch. Hey there. I'm hearing more and more. The biggest problem at DC Comics is that Marie Javins tries to do her job as EIC. Creators don't like what she's doing. Greeners go to Jim Lee, and then Jim Lee tells Marie Javins what to do. Well, I mean, if he can find her. Sorry. <clears throat> let's, let's keep going. My question is this. Um, if Jim Lee uh, stepped out as EIC, and then Marie Javins was hired as EIC at DC Comics. Wait, wait, sorry. I, I fucked that question all up. Just, my question is this. Jim Lee stepped down at EIC. I mean, technically was promoted. And then Marie Javins was hired as EIC at DC Comics. So why does Jim Lee keep acting like EIC, which seems to fuck up a lot of things at DC Comics? Thanks for all you do. Um, well, you know, if I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Um, I look, I, I mean, at least from what I'm hearing, uh, Jim Lee's fairly disconnected. So I, I'm not hearing that he does. I, you know, I. But in fairness, um, I often hear that everybody is disconnected. And uh, that's kind of the problem. It's the biggest complaint people have is that, that everybody seems to be kind of MIA at the leadership over at DC. And maybe that's not fair. I'm sure it's not. Nothing was ever fair. But um, it just, <laughs> by the way, we're coming up on Valentine's Day uh, in a few, in like a week or two. Uh, anyway, soon. And uh, there's billboards around Texas that are like, give your, you know, give your special someone edible lingerie. And I don't know. Like, I don't think that would work out well. Like, is that like, I don't, I don't think that's a good Valentine's gift. Like go, go with the classics, get some flowers, chocolates, go for it. Don't try and like edible lingerie. Like who's like, plus, I mean, if it's edible, she's wearing it, then you're eating it. Like you're buying a gift for you. You're buying food for you. And then she just gets to stand there awkwardly or lay there, whatever is going on. Will you slowly eat holes in the lingerie? I don't know. I mean, like I, Edible, edible underwear. <laughs> Who's into that? Anyway, it's a billboard. It's Texas. Texas, y'all. That's uh, that's what Texas is into. Apparently, edible underwear. I, I, I don't, I don't think she wants that. I, I mean, I, I may be wrong. You know, to, uh, love advice from Perch. Don't, don't go for the other. Just, just get some fucking chocolates. Just do that. It's easy. You know. The thing is, you can go to, uh, you can even go to a pretty crap grocery store and they usually like, they dress up the chocolates in a super nice, uh, little package that makes it look like you actually spent money on that. You can do this. Uh, but don't, don't go for edible underwear. That that's no, no, I don't think any, any woman's going to open that up and be like, oh, this is the most romantic thing I ever got. I don't, I don't think so. And how I mean, that cannot taste good. I mean, it, it's, th th that's not going to be. That's not going to be what you want to eat. I'm just, you know, I, I'm, I just, 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 I, just, 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 don't, don't bother with the underwear. If you want to give her something, then just, just, just go to town. You know, but don't, 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 don't put underwear in the middle. Anyway, 
All right. All right. Sorry. That got, that got awkward there, but happy Valentine's day, everyone. Anyway, um, <laughs> I mean, you're answering a question about Julie and went into edible panties. Sure. Sure. Why not? Um, look, I, I think that, um, I don't know, I guess from my standpoint, there clearly needs to be something going on at the leadership level of DC. I think that people are reaching out to Jim Lee in part because they are not getting answers from the other members of the leadership team. I think with Daniel Cherry, uh, there are some people who are trying to get to Daniel Cherry and um, we're getting kind of zero response back when he was there a couple of, you know, two years ago. And so, uh, you know, I think they would then, you know, escalate. Basically, you'd go up the chain to Jim Lee. Uh, but I didn't, I mean, from what I gathered, I didn't get the feeling like Jim Lee was like immediately like, like roll up sleeves, like Jim Shooter style, like, oh my God, you have a problem? Well, hang on a second. Let me get in there. I'll fix this for you. I'll get this thing under control. I, I don't, I don't think that was happening either. So I don't know. I don't know that creators were getting, you know, getting action, uh, from, from Jim. That sounds wrong, but I don't think they were, I don't think that was a, a improvement to the situation or, or I, you know, I, now granted I could be off and, uh, certainly one way to screw up, you know, leadership and authority chains is if, you know, somebody has a job in this case, Bree Javins and Bree's out trying to just do her job and, and work. But the role of an EIC often has to deliver bad news. Like, like, Hey, no, we're not going to publish your dumb shit. I'm not going to do this. Uh, so if, uh, you know, if Marie is like trying to hold the line, trying to do her job and the creator is like, well, I'm going to go to my old buddy, Jim. And then like, Hey Jim, you know, I want to do this story where, uh, you know, Superman is, uh, He's got this son, see, and we're making a lot of money off of uh, the kid in the Super Sons comic. What I want to do is age him into a teenager and then uh, have him uh, him flirt with uh, Saturn Girl and kind of have a relationship with her a little bit. And then we're going to uh, make him bisexual. Like, uh, is is that Marie said that was a dumb idea, but I I know you've got my back. Can can I do that? You know, I mean, if that's going on, uh, you know, and, and the gym's like, no, damn it. We, we're going to have to age him up and let him be by. That's the best thing to do. But first, we're going to have this confusing uh, turn with Saturn Girl for a while first. Uh, that's that's just to a, just a really confuse everybody. That's that's what we're going to do. I mean, if, and if, if Jim Lee's getting in the way and, you know, and, and making those kinds of decisions, overruling people, then then that is a big problem for sure. Uh, that is a, that's not how you should run a business. It, you, you have to trust the people that you put I mean, look, you, you put people in charge of things, um, you know, you got to support them. If you don't support them, th- you know, don't put them in charge of things. It's, it's really that simple. You can't, you can't go halfway. And I, and that has happened a lot in comics, but the thing is I've heard that happening more at Marvel. I mean, Marvel's historically had some issues with this, uh, back in the day with some of their various leadership over the, over the decades where, you know, some of the editors became disempowered because they just go over the head to Tom or whoever. And, uh, and, and so there was a whole chain of command kind of thing that they struggled with a little bit, but, um, I, I don't know, I, I guess I'm surprised to hear, um, let's see the, the feedback I commonly get about Marie is that Marie is, uh, not the fastest person to get back to people. That's, that's been, that's been what I've heard. Um, but it, it's it's funny because I mean I've I've met Marie before and and you know Marie's you know, in many cases kind of a let's say self made woman but maybe that is the right term I mean I think she's she's tried hard in a bunch of areas and and uh, done a lot of work on her own to to kind of build build product and build value so I would think that she'd actually be the right personality for DC at this moment you know somebody who could get in there and and kind of roll up sleeves and, and get things on track. But, but DC just, I mean, the other problem with DC is this entire, uh, AT&T over to Warner, over to discovery and kind of the shuffling. It's, it's just, it's got to end in COVID was in the middle of that. And they changed distributors and all the rest. They just made all these changes. And then, uh, you know, nobody really knows what to do. It's, it's the, the challenge is there's a little bit of, of, uh, change paralysis going on, which, you know, any company will tell you if you do too much change, and it's confusing why you're doing a lot of that change, then eventually, you know, you, you kind of lose people in that process. They, they just, they tune out. They just stop kind of caring as much as they should. 
And so I think there's, um, you know, there's a certain aspect of that that goes on um, in many cases. And I think DC is very much trapped in that. But, but there you go. So I guess my comment is, you know, that's not what I'm hearing. But, you know, if it is happening, then, you know, then uh, definitely Jim should, you know, you, you got to let the people that you hire to do the job do the job. And if they're not doing the job, then you need to replace them. But you, you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't hire people to do a job and then, you know, take the job away from them. That's that's not that's not good for anybody. Anyway, there you go. Thanks for the question. Sorry about the, uh, you know, middle of the video rant into edible panties. Who? You know what? I keep it interesting, right? I need an editor. That's what I need. Hey, Marie, you know, if Jim's not treating you right, you could edit the Perch Perchington show. Have you have you considered it? Thanks for listening.